This is uh, research in a, in a very rare disease. It's called myotubular myopathy. It affects about 1 in 50,000 uh, male babies born uh, every year. And at this time, there is, uh, there is no current treatment available. Our research has found that gene replacement for this inherited disease is, uh, is effective in both mice and dogs with the same mutation. The research has benefited from two significant events. First, a Florida mother whose son had myotubular myopathy learned from Boston Children's researcher Alan Beggs of a Labrador retriever in Canada that might have a similar muscle deficiency. The woman persuaded the lab's owner to allow the dog, Nibs was her name, to be bred so scientists could observe the disease. The result was successive generations of dogs, some with the muscle disease mutation, some not. One of Nibs' 12 puppies is Bella, who carries the disease gene but is otherwise unaffected. The second significant event came a few years later, when Beggs introduced Genathon, a French research institute, to Childers and to the canine community under observation. The institute had produced a model therapy to combat muscle deficiency in mice and was offering to create such a gene therapy model for dogs. That therapy was the basis for the outcomes being reported this week. For inherited muscular diseases, uh, this finding has an uh, impact and significance in the sense that um, in two models, both mice and dogs, that gene replacement is effective in rescuing the disease. We're able to measure strength in dogs. The dogs are very, very weak. And in fact, uh, even at uh, about four months of age, they're so weak they can no longer stand. So the first experiment we did in uh, just with a test dose, uh, we saw within just uh, three weeks that the strength not only increased, it had actually doubled in strength. And that by the end of six weeks, uh, the strength in a very, very weak muscle was entirely normal. And that was just absolutely shocking to us. In fact, we thought something had gone terribly wrong with the equipment. We just couldn't believe it. But this has been replicated now enough times that we know that that was actually the story. The extraordinary um, results of the study, such a, such a rescue of such a very bad fatal disease in two different species is unheard of. And this really will be a seminal finding in the field. This has never happened before in, in these uh, fatal disorders of, of skeletal muscle.